did get robbed. But you do rob people. What's that? You so burglary. So someone's sleeping over there against the wall. You grab their suitcase and they're. You didn't steal my shit. Why don't you tell me why? Yeah, so why would you steal all my shit? I didn't. You did. You did, Nark. Huh? I said you did, Nark. Nark? Yeah. You know what a Nark is? Yeah, I do know what a Nark is. I think it's amazing you come over and start a conversation with me after stealing all my shit. Small fucking world, huh? Yeah. Alright. Karma's a bitch! backyard. How did he get out? Want to take a look? Because he's never gotten out before. There must be a hole. We should probably look for it. Because I was sitting right here. I have, I was vining with him 30 seconds before that happened. That. Huh? Look at these fucking holes. Uh huh. There's holes all over the yard. Uh -huh. I told you numerous times. He gets out. He's a fucking sneaky ass dog. He's never left since I've been here. Well, he just left. Yes, that's kind of interesting. Because I'm sitting right here. He was just in my lap. Next time I tell you, he's my fucking dog. Then why does he if keep running away from you? Back, why does he keep running away from you? He don't run away from me. He just left, dude! Exactly! And you were watching him, dumbass! I wasn't watching him, I was sitting right here, dude! But I fucking tell you about my dog. I'm Numerous fucking right here. times, dude. Numerous times. Yes. If you're gonna have my dog outside, uh -huh. fucking watch him. If you're I not gonna am be painting, watching him. Apparently not, dumbass, because he got out. How? How did he get out? What? Don't hit me because he's fuck fucking sleeping, dumbass. You're the one with him outside, you fucking retard. So let, don't you want to know how he got out? So you have I to know how he got out, how? motherfucker. Throughout the, the house, homeboy. Throughout the house. Look at the fucking house, you that fucking hole. retard. He went under the hole. Yes, and there's another hole on the backside, you fucking idiot. Well, he couldn't get to that one. All he's got to do is go underneath the house, you fucking jackass. Well, that gate go used to work. Go look at the fucking hole by my window. No, I know how they get out. But Tank has never left before just now. He just left now, motherfucker. Why? He's left numerous times. Uh, he's never left since I've been here. Does that... I don't understand, dude. Oh, fuck. So. The boyfriend just punched me in the face. Because his dog just left the yard. Now, for the three weeks I've been here, the dog's never left the yard. Now, I'm sitting out here meditating. The dog is in my face. I was just petting him. There's a video of me just petting him. Then all of a sudden, he leaves the yard. He's never done this before. But it instigated a fight where home skillet gets to punch me in the face. I am recording, just you know. No, I just have to tell you legally so we can use it later. What's going on with that? Nobody's property as of right now. I pay no, for no, the no, rent, though. Is, I know when I'm a person that's on. As the information we have right now, 
that's considered trespassing. That's why we detained him. I've been here long enough that I can... Vicky, it looks like it maybe was a type of scam where you paid somebody rent, but they weren't the owner. Just relax, we're gonna get to the bottom of this. We're gonna figure it out, though. But that's what they think it is. I don't have any doubt that you didn't pay anybody. It's just... My name's you call me on the You're not trouble, Victoria. I know, but... I know, I know, I'm just saying. I know. I don't think he knew. If he knew, he he's the only kind of guy that want to run away from you guys. I mean, if I just came out. We probably would have decided him out on the warrant. That's what this is probably going to turn out to be is a, a civil dispute between you and whoever you paid the money to. So, but we stay here while we work out the civil dispute. Uh, that's up to the property owner. But I mean, legally. Kimberly, I mean, if, her, if, if I bring his name up, or even have Jonathan talk to this person, they're going to just be like, oh my God. We have to talk to the property owner further. They're saying they talk to the property owner and they don't know about The property owner doesn't know about anyone staying here. Dad, please don't screw him over. I know, it's just a misdemeanor. not the owner, he can't collect rent on a property because they're I don't know. It's just a misdemeanor, so hopefully he'll get out soon. I think he'll he'll call me tonight, or he'll call you, or he'll call somebody. Huh? Jace is going to the Mojave Desert Jail right now. No, I'm pissed off. What it is, is he, he, was, he was bumping music earlier. I had a feeling that was bad. Yeah, see. Right now, it's just me and my stepdad. So that's it. Uh, I'm on my way right now. What, here? Yeah, I'm going to be on my way that way right now. Okay. Bye. 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 
So the cop said that somebody else owns the trailer. Someone named Kim. Kim owns the trailer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And so Kim, Kim says that because no. Vicky paid rent to you. No, oh. you guys told the cops. You guys told the office that you've been paying me rent for a year. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's what they just oh, told me. Who just told you that? It. That's what they, the office just told me, man. We got a video of it yeah. all. I swear to God. There's no way they told you that because that's not what we told them. That's yeah. what they told me, man. That we've been paying rent for a year? No, that, that you guys, somebody told them that, that you've been paying me rent for a year. You know, I, I did you guys a favor. He's family. I don't, I'm not, I don't care about the fact, you know. The whole cop thing, that's his parole business. You know, he had a warrant. There's nothing I had control over that. No, but she's being filed an eviction notice. Her personally, her, her, she's being filed an eviction notice. Well, yeah, they want a thirty. They want a thirty. They have a thirty-day notice. Yeah, but she thought she was paying to the owner. She thought the money was eventually getting to the owner, and she Look had permission it. to stay here. Look at that. That money order went into the Dropbox of the office. Okay, okay. of I this told, office. I told her money order paid this rent. I told her. Okay. And Jace, whenever you're gonna pay the rent, let me know. I will come and pay it. Pay oh, it. Okay. So I was gonna lie for them. They're gonna be thinking that I'm still here, okay, paying the space rent, okay. Because even though the trailer's owned, this is their land. You gotta pay. Yeah, the yeah, space. yeah, yeah. Of course. Okay. But what you're saying is that Victoria's money went and paid for this month's rent here. Yeah, it's paid for now. They're they're, they're giving it to next month to be out. No, but it didn't actually go to that. Yeah, it did go to that. So you were so so what you're gonna sit there and tell me is that I took her money order? No, I'm asking. You just said that they're she's getting a free month because they're evicting her. Did she pay for the month? I, I just told you that, man. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I... <laughs> okay. Okay, this is what happened. They gave me a money order for $350. Uh-huh. They wrote it out to a Oasis Mobile Home Park. Okay. I took it to the office and put it in the Dropbox. Okay. So they were under the assumption that I paid the space rent, but there was still $180 something dollars short of oh. the space rent. So okay. there's only a partial payment of the space rent, okay. which is why so, they came... So, so there, there, there's only... But they were under the assumption that I'm still here. Of course they don't know that Jason Hurst is still there. Because yeah. I haven't had the opportunity to try to figure out and work it out to where they can go and fill out an application to have permission to be on the property. So until that was going to take place, and until they figured out what they were going to do, every month at the sp if they were going to be here, I was going to make the drive over here. They were going to give me the money order, and you're gonna write it out to Mo Oasis Mobile Home Park, and I was going to drop it off gotcha. to let them think that I'm still the one that's here. Okay. But there wasn't a low profile being kept here. You know, there were... You know, the neighbors were complaining. Neighbors were complaining? Yeah, the neighbors were complaining about noise. This is just what the phone call that I got. So when I found out that the cops were being called, I called her phone like fucking 15 times. Trying to give you guys a heads up. Yeah. Hey, the cops are coming. Hey, cops are going to be on the way. No one answered the phone. No one answered my text message. Hmm. So, really, it's out of my hands now. Because the only, the only way that you guys are going to be able to be here, any one of you guys is if my Aunt Kim calls the office and you guys go in there and fill out an application. You mean past the 30 days? Well, then who, who is it there? Well, where's the 30-day notice at? The, the, the police and the management of the trailer park gave her a 30-day, a verbal, paper. they gave her a verbal 30-day. Well, that, that's not Let me finish. He took me. her information and they're going to file the paperwork to start evicting the if, eviction if process to her. Leave, they're not going to pay for court fees. No, no, they say she has 30 days to get out. Yeah, but they're 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 not going to give you 30 days, man. If you wait 30 days, then yeah, that paperwork's going to get filed. Well, yeah. Okay. But that's they're the day you have to be out. The money for that. No, of course not. Cuz they're hoping that you guys get the hint and go now. But Vicky thought this was going to be like a 3 or 4 months type of at least situation. Then. Yeah, if you guys would have kept a little profile. You got a, a copper coil sitting in the front. A what? A copper coil, something that comes out of like a refrigerator oh, yeah, yeah. air conditioner. Yeah. So right away, that looks like a tweaker house. <laughs> looks like shit's being dismantled. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. for copper. So I'm just pointing out things that I saw when I, I told Jace, you know, you, you guys keep a little profile, you guys can be here. It could have been a three to four month thing yeah. if the office didn't get whiffed that other people were here. Yeah. Which means, you know, you don't go out openly during the daytime, in and out. You know, you try to keep your shit to the backyard. Yeah. Don't go too much in the front. You know what I mean? That make that makes sense, all right? They you know, they don't think that you're still paying rent. They think that nobody's living here. What you're trying to figure <laughs> out is if Victoria got burned in this deal. Yeah. 
<laughs> how, how did she get burned, man? So I would definitely stick around till he gets out. He's on a regular parole violation. So at a 90-day violation, the way the county jail works now, he shouldn't do more than 21 days. Huh? I mean, if he gets lucky, maybe he'll be out next week. There's a still a chance that the parole officer will show up at his court hearing and say, you know what, release him to me. It's all yeah. to the parole That's officer. what I told her. It's the parole officer. Now, is that going to happen? Gonna I doubt it. What know. was the warrant for? I don't know. It was just for violation of probation. Yeah, but for what? Not reporting or being out of the county? Not reporting. See, now his mom's pissed because he's been telling his mom that he's been reporting every month. So it kind of sounds like Jay. But it kind of sounds like Jay set himself up. Yeah. To get caught up on parole. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He knew he was gonna get a bench for. Yeah, but that's not good. So that had to be today. I saw the look in his eye like he had a feeling. Of course not. I'm gonna be here with. I'll be here for you, baby. I'm gonna be here when you get out. I'm here when you call out everything, okay? How long do you think you're gonna be in there? It's a misdemeanor, baby. You're only gonna be in there like 30 days a month. Huh? Mm. Alright, I love you, baby. I told your mom. I love you. I will. I'll set up an account. So as long as I go. You hung up already? No, no, they only have one minute. They literally only have a minute. Did they cut them off? You opened the door! What are you talking about? He saw you- you opened the door! No, I didn't, motherfucker! What are you talking about? What the fuck? I should bash you in your face, dude. You didn't get the fucking hit when I went and sat in Starbucks and all the fucking cut. No, I didn't, homie. I went like this. I looked out the fucking window, seen that he was right there, and dipped right back around the corner. And didn't think to say anything to me when they're asking for me? You were standing right there. I was standing over here. I didn't see anything to you. I walked to the fucking door, you're all. I didn't know. I thought you had a visitor. If it wasn't for her right there, I'd have beat the fuck out of you, dude. For telling cops that you were. I didn't know, dude. What you you opened the door. What'd you just say? I said I didn't know, dude. The fuck? <sighs> the boyfriend started a fight with her in the room, which there was yelling and screaming, but then I heard him say, And your Jew father. So I turned my camera on. See what happens next. Stop it! Fuck, dude! Tells me she hates me and all this, dude. Uh -huh. All right, I go and get her motherfucking name blasted on me. Uh huh. I'm fucking dedicated to that bitch. So why'd you just come after me? Baby, Victoria, stop. Hey, baby, Victoria, baby, stop. Baby, stop it. Stop, stop, stop. 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 Stop, baby. Stop. Uh, Stop, baby. What's going on? 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 What's going
in Lancaster. I'm homeless and I'm sleeping by the DMV. Someone stole all of my stuff. They stole my backpack and my suitcase next to my head while I was sleeping. Did you report that to Lancaster? Yeah, oh yeah, there's a report. Of course, they stole everything I own. Anyway, the next day uh, at the homeless showers, a girl gets in line next to me and she's wearing one of my hats. That's right there by the Metro League station, yeah, correct? Yeah, exactly. She's wearing one of my hats and I say to her, that's my hat. She gives it right back to me. But then her boyfriend gets in my face. He's like, who the fuck are you, man? That's not your hat, blah, blah, like in my face. And I said, you know who stole my stuff? Who stole it? He goes, what do we look like, narcs to you? I'm like, yeah, actually you do. Because I've been an activist for nine years and I've been dealing with this shit for nine years. So what happened in Kern County? Well, in Kern County, all the times that he's hit me, I'm about to show you what he punched me in the face. Okay. But we wanted to, you wanted the, the backstory first. Okay, so the backstory is that the day after his best friend robbed everything I own, he gets in my face. So this character that you said his name is Jace? Jace, or yeah, he goes by Youngster is the street Jace name. Jace or Youngster? Yes. You're saying it's his friend that stole your his stuff best in friend, LA County? Yeah, his best friend stole okay. all of my stuff. And I told the LA, de the deputies know the guy's name. Exactly. They had him in custody okay. and they did nothing. The day after they stole my stuff, he gets in my face. Now he's with his girlfriend at this place. They're Your holding daughter, him. Correct? No, no. Our, this, we're back in LA County. Back in LA County. Gotcha. The day after President's Day when everything was stolen from me. Okay? This guy is standing next, they happen to get in line next to me with my stuff, and he gets in my face. Now, unbeknownst to me, at that very same week, he is breaking up with that girl who was wearing my hat and calling my daughter, who was completely on the other end of town. Just coincidence in a town of 156,000 people, he's just also getting into my daughter's life. Okay, well, it's not against the law for him to call her. Right? Of course not. Okay. Okay, but we're, we're getting to coincidences here, real quick. Because he's a federal agent, that's and that's why I'm not telling you where they are right now. Because unless, in, until this is going to come out that he's a federal agent, undercover, torturing us, this is... is the is, friend is, or your daughter's boyfriend? Both of them. Okay. They're both federal agents, or they're both torturing you? I think it's clever, Good. You're, this guy's good. They're both uh, federal agents. Okay. And how, how do you, why do you think they're federal agents? Well, if you never let me tell the story, we'll get right. to that. Well, I'm trying okay. to get you to cut to the chase. I'm not too concerned. <laughs> There's about, no chase. You okay. already made the report for your stolen belongings yes. in L.A. County. I'm yes. really not concerned okay. about what Well, I'm explaining to you I'm what... trying to get to the okay. meat and potatoes. The meat and potatoes story. is that all of a sudden now this guy's in my life. Okay? He's my... The, the best friend of the guy who stole my stuff. He's now Victoria's boyfriend. And while we're at the storage unit, because we were homeless and at the storage unit, I heard very specifically, I was kind of set aside and they were in the storage unit. I heard her say, don't snap your fingers at me, I'm not a dog. And then I saw this, just a big snap. And her head went like this. But no physical contact. Can you listen, snapping. please listen to what I'm telling you. Okay, listen, very carefully. This is what she did. He snapped her f his fingers, her head dropped, okay. it raised up slowly. She said, what do I do now? He said, go to sleep. 
she laid down and went to sleep. Okay. Okay. Now he is the fourth boyfriend in a row okay. that I've. Can, can we pause you? Yeah. So he hypnotized her. He didn't actually forcibly hit her or anything. That's what we're getting at. We need some clarification. Yeah, I, I'm, so I'm talking about how I'm talking about how he hypnosis. hypnotized her. Okay. Yes. And he's now the the fourth boyfriend in a row who I've caught hypnotizing her. Okay. And I have copious videos of her of us talking about it. They have manipulated her. They have put her under. No, I mean, you, you, see, you stopped me in the middle of that because you're trying to try to find where the assault was. I'm explaining that he was hypnotizing her. And that's what I'm now trying to make sure I'm tracking you. You understand? Yeah. That's, that's, sure this is a series. Right. That's, a, that's a different kind of assault, but you're both under... No, I don't know you're that hypno hypnosis putting, is assault. Putting somebody intentionally into hypnosis state so you can abuse them is... That, that's just... I, I, that, I don't think there's a criminal statute for that, to be honest with you. Really? Not that I'm aware of. Wow. And you said he made her go to sleep. That, that, that time. That's, that's not abuse. Okay. In my opinion. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. But it, uh, as um, far as you being chest bumped on the 12th, yeah. what do you want done with that? That's okay. a battery that occurred outside of our presence. Would you like a police report for that? Can I show you the other two times when he punched me in the face? Yeah, please. The most recent one happened yesterday. The one where he put her into a, where she fell into a seizure. No, for it, with you being hit. That, yeah, okay. yesterday he punched. He he started a fight with her. He manipulates her back and forth between the personality that hates him and the personality that loves him. She has multiple personalities. And this was a verbal argument between the two of them. They were started screaming, and all of a sudden I heard him go, "Yeah, what about your Jew dad?" And he comes running out, and then he punches me in the face. She comes running behind him, saying, "Why are you always attacking him for no reason?" Okay. Okay. At that point, I go outside to call the police. She begs me to stop, so I turn the camera back on. At that point, she's on the floor kicking and screaming like how fucking tired she is of these guys fucking with her life over and over again for reasons that don't seem to make sense. Have either of you looked into getting a restraining order against him? No, she, she's going to love him as soon as you show up there. That's why I don't want to give you the, the... That's why I'm hesitating about reporting this. You don't understand that the moment you guys show up there, she's going to switch my fucking hate him to, oh my God, I love him, I can't my, live without him. My concern him. is I just want to make sure she's okay. I do too. And the way to do that is going to require a little bit more intricate than us filling out paperwork and hoping that he serves a little bit of time. Because this is a serious situation, and as I've explained, it's gone on for nine years. It, as serious as this is, it's a battery that yeah. occurred outside of our presence. It will be submitted to the district attorney. Yeah. It's up to them to decide if they're going to put out a warrant for his arrest for the battery. If he we, was, we don't make that information, we're not going to go arrest him from here. Yeah. It, it is a misdemeanor that occurred outside of our presence, and it's up to you to be the one to file the complaint. Is that something that you want to do? Probably not. <laughs> do you want to press charges? I don't know, you? man. The but moment that they got wind that I was having this conversation, everything would be... They just put on a show for us? Yeah, you, it would be for you, yeah. And then I'd be in danger. He'd kill me. I mean... Hold on. No, I want to hear what you said. Say that again, please. I said, how could he be a federal agent and be a Nazi? You were just telling me he's it's, a white power. It's, it's almost amazing. Is there, That's you guys, what I don't understand. Do you guys have a ceiling with Kern County Sheriff's? An IQ ceiling? Because, come on, really? You don't think there'd be a reason to have federal agents with white power tattoos go undercover? Okay, so like I, <laughs> like I said before, I mean, how can we help you? Well, you can admit that you can expose this. I don't know how to make it stop. How would you, you like me to expose him? Well... I don't, I, that's where I'm not trying What's your name? Harmonson. Okay, well, when I call you as a witness, just fine. Tell the truth. Hello. Hello again. How can I help you? Uh, apparently, you really can't. We, we don't do stuff secretive. We're, we're, if we're calling someplace, we're going to go out there and handle it. Yeah, but no one can really help me here because my daughter's boyfriend with the white power tattoos yelled them. Something about her Jewish dad and attacked me yesterday, but because no, these guys didn't witness it, if they if I do send them over there, he'll be picked up, cited and released, and be back to fucking fight me again tomorrow. I have three videos of this guy attacking me over the past couple months, and they tell me there's nothing they can do except for well, cite him. You want to be a victim? We'll take a report. But that's it. Yes. Okay. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Um. Oh yeah, sorry, I answered like that. Actually, this is not just a hey, normal day. Um, can I have a rosary whenever I ask you if you can and try to come and blind us? Because I broke up with him. I didn't fight in the bike, so you can't really get around easy, but Wait, say, I don't know. Say again, t start from the beginning. I'm, I'm 
and I took along my stuff and I left. Okay. So now what? So I don't know if he's gonna come looking for you or whatever the fuck with you. Oh. So just leave, you know? Leave Roseman? I'm just saying, leave Roseman, yeah. Don't be in that area. <sighs> I flattened this bike and everything though, so I can't get around easy. Yeah. I did, I, I think, just think I got out, dude. So now what? I really got out. Like, I don't know, dude. I'll tell you when I figure that out. I'll call you back later, okay? Okay. Let's get out of there, okay? I didn't plan on getting out of here. I was going to be here all day. Okay. Alright, whatever. Probably won't be a big deal. Well, if he, co- you know, if he comes for me, he comes for me, dude. I, I keep a fucking butter knife in, I keep a butter knife in each pocket, and I'm waiting for his ass. So fucking. Yeah, you little bitch, don't matter. I don't think he's gonna come. We're over each other. We are. So what happened? I'll tell you later. Though, okay. Please. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love you. I love you too. Bye. Bye. Because he wants to go to jail. He is really trying. I have to tell you that. What? He has. He what? He has been trying to go back to jail lately. Yeah, obviously. I know, no, really. Oh, no, no. I am, my back threat. I am angry at him and all that shit. But still, you, you have been trying to go to jail a lot. Can I ask you why, though, Jay? If you want to go to jail so bad, can you please just go to the freaking freeway right there on the side? Hey, hold a sign saying wanted. We are, right now, we are holding that. We have been holding that for a while, but actually, the most, I have never holded a fence. Uh, uh, I'm the first person on this fucking river bottom bike trail banner ever since we walked over the banner. Over the fucking bike trail. We're not even on the bottom, we're not even on the bike trail, we're on top of the bike trail. So what? Let me call you back. Okay. Yeah, I know, right? Uh-huh. We're on top of the bike trail. Nobody else but Tweaker Jace knows how to get us on top of the fucking bike trail. All right, I'll call you back. Okay. Mm, that's the call I get woken up with this morning. You guys call the police, please. You guys call the police, please. For this motherfucker. What? Listen. What? She was doing so good when we were up there in San Corita. Uh-huh. Not being on Spice. And I kept telling her the whole time she's trying to fucking manipulate you to get to come, come up there. Uh-huh. To just leave it alone. That if she wanted it that bad, we could have came back to Lancaster. Uh-huh. Okay, we come out here. She blames me because she wanted to get a room for a week. Spits $220 on her. Okay? Uh-huh. Yeah, she fucking, we went to go get some uh, some drugs or whatever, and fucking dude burned us. Okay? Oh, dude burned us. What's that? For $20. I don't know what that is. He ran off with the money. Oh, the dude burned you. Okay. Okay. And she saw, she, I won't throw it in your face, I won't throw it in your face, it's okay. I'm like, alright. Do you know this whole time I've been pushing her around on a cart? Uh, Literally like a fucking mule? That's what I used to do, yeah. Okay. She's got the fucking, I, I just... Part of me don't like you, Seth. But then part of me does because fucking, I just can't take it, dude. I know she's got issues. You think? And I try to do everything I can. She's got this shit going on with her grandma. I told her when she was in Santa Clarita. I said, stop doing what you're doing. What? Because she's sending her grandma all these texts, threatening it, right? Yeah. Now look, her grandma won't let her see a fucking stone. And I told her, I said, stop doing that because it's gonna fucking have repercussions. I have videotape of her mother's birthday when I came to meet you guys at the park. Okay. She called her grandmother on the phone. Okay, to set up a, a, a meeting, what? and you touched her on the leg and you said you should go. And that, you touching her on the leg and telling her she should go, made her switch to her other personality. What do you mean? She was on the phone with her grandmother to set up a meeting to see her baby. Right, and I said you should go see your baby. And that immediately triggered her to go back to the... Yeah. What do you mean? 
that triggered her to go to the other personality. And then all of a sudden, she's like, I, I can't go. I can't go. Right, but what's that guy? I'm talking about she, because her grandma wouldn't wire her money mm -hmm. to come back. She started threatening, seeming like non-obvious takes. Oh, I'm going to get my Uncle Joe to woo. Of course. Right? Yeah. Well, Virginia being the way she is, knowing that she holds fucking Victoria's idol, is not going to let her see stone because of those threats. She called Victoria last night around 8 o'clock and let Victoria talk to Stone. But as soon as Victoria asked, okay, can I come see him tomorrow or Monday? Virginia's all, no. And then fucking Victoria started right back in on the threatening text. Of course. Answer me one question. Remember when I had that van for a few days? Yeah. For a week? And then you guys were, were all at the storage unit. You and her were in the storage unit and I was sitting outside. Yeah. I heard her say, quote, don't snap your fingers at me, I'm not a dog. And then you did one big, huge snap of your fingers, and then her head dropped to her chest, and then it raised back up, and she said, what do I do? And you told her to go to sleep, and then she laid down and went to sleep. Can you explain that to me? Snap, I might have clapped. No, you snapped your fingers because, yes. It's as loud as I can snap. Yes, right after she told you to stop snapping your fingers at me. Because the three guys she was with before you, I all I caught them all putting her under hypnosis. Okay, well I don't know hypnosis. Right now, but well then, why did she? I'm tell a convict, you? bro. I don't read into books, and I'm not into hypnosis like. Well this. then, how did you put her under hypnosis? I didn't put her under hypnosis. I watched you do it. Okay, how'd you watch it if we were behind the curtain? You weren't behind the curtain. You were sitting. There was no curtain up then. You were sitting. She had the fucking. Uh, this was before the curtain was there. You were both sitting. That curtain was there the first time I. Ever well, she didn't have it closed that moment then, okay, because well, I, I heard her say that. Under hypnosis. I watched. Trust me, if I had somebody under hypnosis set. She would not be acting like she is right now. Well, you guys. She would not call you stressed out if my hypnosis would be good attitude all day long. Trust and believe that. Well, I wish that would be the situation. Well, fucking, that's how I'm telling you. Your, your hypnosis things. I know. I know you got fucking. Your imagination is fucking huge. I watched you do it. Okay. Well, I'm telling you, your imagination is huge. Okay. You got a very broad imagination. Mm -hmm. But I don't know nothing about hypnosis. I'm coming over here as a man, trying to talk to you as another man. Okay. And, so, and I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, I what told I... her. Yeah, I was gonna come over here and be violent, but. It, Fucking, I got so, so where much is she now? What she's walking over here. But I got so much fucking shit going on in my head that the last thing I'm fucking worried about is violence. I need to talk to another man. I'm asking you as a man, Seth, to fucking talk to you, dude. What are you doing? What do you want me to do? Fucking, I, I don't know, man. You're fucking, how old are you? 43. Okay, you got 20 something years on me. Mm -hmm. uh, and for the last eight of them, I've watched every guy she's with okay, well, fuck with her to the point that she doesn't even know who she is anymore. Look, this is what she does. She runs off and goes and finds dope dealers to come to her aid. Well, I'm sure she does. That's what, that's been the whole point. That's all they've been doing year after year. The guys before you fattened her up. The ones that made her lose custody of Stone that she was living with. For, for weeks and weeks, they kept cooking stews and steaks. She kept joking. She's like, it's like they're fattening me up. And then one day they just became tweakers. After fattening her up and making her body image really fucked up, they just became tweakers in the house. So what did she do? She did tweak, and then she lost her son. So you want to come to me as a man, I'm going to tell you what I've seen year after year. And if I saw you as separate from that pattern, that would be great. The only person I saw separate from that pattern was a guy named, uh, what the fuck was his name? I forgot now. Um, I forget his name. Anyway, the one guy who, who she's known for years. And what happened? A cop moves into the house with them, gets them all tweaked out, breaks up their relationship. The one guy who didn't fuck with her, someone moves into the house and fucks up the whole thing. Now you come into her life. Now you come into her life literally the day after your best friend steals everything I own. Okay? At the same time. Now hold on, hold on. Yeah. As soon as I found out, because you got the hat back, okay? Yeah. As soon as what happened when I got the hat back? Look, listen, listen. Mm. Victoria approached me in a park. This is how I met Victoria, okay? Yeah. She came up to me in a park and asked me for a cigarette. Yeah, I know. All right? That's how me and Victoria, as soon as she told me mm -hmm. that you were her stepdad, mm -hmm. all right? I literally, you can ask her, I confronted Miracle. I grabbed him by the back of the neck and said, everything you stole from that dude, you can do whatever you can to get it back. And then what happened? Huh? And then what happened? I did what I could. That dude was not my friend. She told me to stop kicking it with him, and I told him to bounce. And then he shows up on her mother's death anniversary, 
So we're, we're at the park on her mother's death anniversary. Miracle shows up. Miracle didn't show up that day. You want to see videotape of Miracle showing up that day? I wasn't there. Me, you, and her were sitting at the park. Miracle shows up. And you guys, remember that's the time that she, that she thought he was flirting with you and she flipped the fuck out? Miracle shows up. She says she sees him making cutesy eyes at you and she throws a huge fit. Well, the only thing I remember us meeting at the park it was for her birthday. No, I'm talking about May 7th, her mother's death anniversary. Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't, because I, I, every I didn't day, the day since the day you met her, every single holiday since the day you met her, you have made our life a living hell. On her, on my birthday, Mother's Day, you made her cry five times. What kind of bar boyfriend makes, you know she lost her kid and you make her cry five times on Mother's Day, which just happens to be my birthday. Five times. So come to me as a man and explain that. People have arguments. You made her cry five times on Mother's she Day. She cries over the simplest thing. She cried because you... I can tell her I'm leaving and she cries. I, I can't even walk out the door to look for a cigarette butt and she cries. And why is that? Huh? Why is that? Because she's obsessed with me, Seth. Yes, and why is that? Because she's in love with me. The same reason why I let her go at it and fucking get her money. Because I love her. I will let her put her, me through whatever pain she can. She can fucking stab, poke. I don't care if you got a knife. You think you can whack me and take my life? Have at it. I've been stabbed. I've been shot. Been there, done that, bud. Okay? So, what do you want from me? I'm asking you fucking... You've known her a little bit longer, okay? She fucking tells me... Okay, we had our issues in Rosemont. She says she wants the fucking relationship to work. But she's not letting it. She's still hung up on the fucking shit that happened. Okay? I'm not asking her to forget it. I'm not asking her to forget to forgive me. Or I'm asking her to forgive but not to forget, okay? Because it's you mean forgive but don't forget. About what? The shit that's happened. The shit that went down on, on uh In July fourth? July fourth. Well, yeah. Okay. Another holiday. It was actually before the holiday. No, I know, but she found out on July fourth. Right. Okay, well, I've asked her. Don't, I'm not asking you to fucking forget about it, okay? Because I know you're not. I mean, as a woman, you're not going to forget about that. But if you want to work on moving on in our fucking relationship, you have to be able to forgive me sometime. I, she, look, two weeks after we were together, Seth, I was in work, okay? Work. Fontana. I was working the racetrack. Yeah. I'm coming home that night. I get to my mom's house. She's calling me, telling me she's sick. So what do I do? I pay my home way to move the Okay, but oh, but it's fine for her to do that. And I send out a little measly ass text message, and it's fucking the world's in. It's not fine for her to do that. Exactly. You, I've walked, you, I've watched you and Mark back and forth, dude. You didn't just randomly meet her at that fucking park, dude. You what met are you her. What are talking about? You were standing there when Mark fucking pushed her away, and you were standing right there. I didn't even know her though. Is what I'm saying. I'd never even seen Victoria until that day at the park. I'd never. Laid Which out happened to be the same. Was it the same day that your best friend stole all my stuff, or was it a day after? Was I don't. It? I'm not sure, but I had never laid eyes on Victoria until that day she asked me for a cigarette. I swear to God, I put that on my mother. No, I, I never I, laid eyes on her because if I had, she'd been the first woman I'd get that. So, again, I don't know what you want me to do. Talk to her, fucking tell her she's got to be a reason as an adult. Victoria!